Previously on Fred Prince Check. So Google emailed me about the Google event in the Pixel 3 XL, and they did not make me sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. That um that was a mistake. Welp. Get daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Of course, another gives you all latest tech news. From one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you so much for 100,000 100, subscribers. Uh, and uh, 101,000 and uh, 102,000. <laughs> Thank you for that. Seriously. Brian and I love you. It really does mean the world to us. Thank you for allowing us to follow our dreams, to act like idiots on the internet, and make you laugh every day for a living. Crazy. Best job ever. Also, <laughs> how's your Friday going? Mine's, uh, weird. All right, so first up, news story numero uno is about Huawei. They got caught. They got caught a cheating again. Yeah, remember how like last week or the week before they got caught taking pictures with not a Huawei phone and instead a DSLR camera? Well, this time they got caught cheating on benchmarks for the P20. It seems that an Antec, an Antec, an Antec, that's, that's a lot. Either way, they discovered that the Huawei P20 had actually been programmed to maximize performance specifically when running 3D Mark. If you aren't aware, very popular benchmarking app. And soon after, 3D Mark actually followed up with a statement and they confirmed that, uh, yeah, uh, Huawei done fed up. And as a result, they would officially delist the Huawei P20. But that's not all. They're also going to delist three other Huawei phones that they said had similar behavior. So all together, we got the P20, P20 Pro, Nova 3, and Honor Play all kicked to the curb like a young John Prosser at prom. Huawei, come on, man. Two weeks in a row, more like, wow, why are you always lying? I know. I'm ashamed, too. I don't feel good about that joke. Listen, I'm sorry about the news, all right? There's not much to work with today. Second story, Microsoft uh, doing a thing. Microsoft has officially sent out invites for their fall press event that's going to be in New York City next month. That will be October the 2nd. The press invites that went out were asking for, quote, a moment of your time. So, yay, Surface event. It's gonna happen October 2nd. Wow, oh man, wow, I am so, I am so pumped for this Surface event. Can you tell? I am, I am lying. I actually don't give a fuck. But there's only one way to tell. We must travel far and wide to the nearest field to see if we have any fucks growing so we can give them to Microsoft. Uh, yeah, yep, just as I suspected. No, no fucks for Microsoft. I think, uh, I think Steve Ballmer took him when he left. And the last story of the day is ab about us. I didn't see this one coming, but somehow our stupid show was plastered all over media sites today. We were literally number one trending on BGR when I woke up this morning. We've been the number two post on r slash Android all day. Uh, by the way, Reddit loves me. Love you too, Reddit. And there were dozens of other articles written on other sites. Yes, about us. I've had reporters trying to get in my butthole all day, from CNET to Fox News. Nope, not kidding. Fox News. Yep. It's really interesting to see how some of the sites create their own narrative from what I said in the show last night. If you missed it, I talked about how Google reached out to me and asked me for very specific clips from this very show, 
to apparently uh, play during the Google event and put somewhere on the front page of YouTube, I guess. And based off of the other YouTubers that Google connected with the same way they connected with me, which there were five of us in total, I know three out of the five names, they've talked to me, obviously, I ain't gonna tell you. It is very obvious that Google was creating a very specific narrative with very specific clips. And a lot of pieces just don't line up. There's more questions than answers. There's literally more leaning me in the direction of, uh, maybe we all got bamboozled. Either way, the tech news sites today either hated me and made me look like a crazy person, or they actually understood the point of Front Page Tech, the show. And to those sites, genuinely, thank you. Listen, here's the thing. We don't need you to believe us. We don't care if you believe us. We simply gave you the information. You choose what you want to do with that. I don't really care. Some assholes out there today were claiming that we did this all for the views and that hot YouTube money. <laughs> but listen, Steven, we don't need that extra $500 that that video might make. We don't need the views, TM. That was cute. Uh, but you know who does need the clicks for ad dollars? You. So while the other tech news websites are blowing this story out of proportion and taking me out of context, consider this. Maybe y'all just suck and that's why tech is boring now. You do your thing. You be the reporters with your verified check marks. Oh wait, we got one too. Cool. Seriously though, reporters are rock stars and I respect you guys. Just report the stories properly. You do your thing, focus on that, and we'll be over here doing our thing putting on a great f***ing show. And you know what? Whether Google actually bamboozled us or not, have a little f***ing fun, huh? I didn't lie about any of this. I was contacted by Google, so were others, and there's too much going on right now. Too many things have happened just to ignore a theory like this. And let's be honest, if Google emailed one of you, Instead, I highly doubt you would have come out and told the public what was happening. Nah, nah, you would keep your mouth shut so you get invited to the next sweet Google event, huh? Google knows what they're doing, whether there's a secret or not. This is a genius marketing strategy by Google, like one of the best I've ever seen. Secret phone or not, Google is eating this up. We've literally been doing this for years. Why would we put our credibility on the line right now for this of all things. We don't just randomly exist now, today, because you had to report on us. That's not how it works. We've been here putting on a show, making people laugh, and having a little bit of fun in a space that feels like the fun got sucked out by all of you.